Hey guys, this is Kevin with Louisiana Snake ID, LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube. We have got a super cool find for you guys today. This is the first time we've experienced one of these in person. Uh, we saw him on a tree and we were able to get back in the water similar over there and walk back and catch him. This is a Graham's Crawfish Snake. These are not very common. Uh, they're found obviously around swamps and stuff, but we live on a swamp and I've never seen one. So we're super excited to show you the snake. Uh, these guys are uh, harmless uh, snakes, and they don't have a really distinct lines on the side of their face. You can see the scales, but you're not really seeing the dark vertical lines. Remember, we it. told you that not all put it down a little bit. It's there not right all non-venomous snakes have it, but if you see the dark vertical lines, it is a non-venomous snake. It's kind of a way to remember that, okay? Um, but this guy right here looks like he's got a little injury on the side of his head on this side. I'll spin him around in a second. I'm trying to get it to focus. Um, but... but he's got a super cool belly too. Got these mm -hmm. dark scales right down the middle. It's one of the distinct ways you could tell. Look at that right there. Pretty cool looking snake. <laughs> kind of plain colors. He's got keeled scales. Those raised scales. You can tell they're, they're kind of like the other water snakes. Um, when we caught this guy, he's kind of doing it right now. If you're standing behind me, you can kind of see how he's flattened it out already. But he was so flattened out, I thought he was dead. I was like, is he dead? Because I've never seen a snake flatten out that much. They flatten their heads out like water snakes, but this entire guy's body didn't just kind of flatten to look bigger, it flattened like it had gotten run over and it was completely flat like a pancake. Um, I was trying to see if I can get that injury on his Oh neck. yeah, let's hold it right there so you can see it. Yeah, it looks like something got him by the neck there, or... Try to hold it like that. He might have got caught in the crawfish trap. Hold, I'm real zoomed in, so... so Everybody's sorry. Bit. There you go, but look, he's flattening out right now. He's stiff. He feels stiff like a vine. <laughs> uh, with the way he said, but he's, I'm not hurting him in any way. I just wanted to show you his injury. But you can kind of see his body. Look how flat he is on the side. Can you see that? <laughs> his whole body was like that a little I while know. ago. There you go. Look at that. It must be a dis this, one of the defense mechanisms. They flatten out and, and want it seem like they wouldn't be appetizing. Um, I'm about to have some people. Or maybe it seem us. like they're dead, I guess. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a second and then we'll come right back because we have some people that we don't know coming behind us. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're back. People passed by in the video. Uh, the first group had some ladies on it. They were not too thrilled to see a snake. <laughs> I didn't want to catch it on video to, in case they drop something that we don't do on our channel uh, as far <laughs> as language goes. And also, uh, don't have to ask permission if they want to be on video. But anyway, this is a Graham's crawfish fish, a crawfish snake, excuse me. Um, and we're out here uh, close to Lafayette. Uh, we're catching some crawfish, and uh, again, like I said, we just... Turn this way, this spin way? around, because right. the sun will be on you a little Yeah, bit. yeah, whichever way the easiest. But yeah, his injury doesn't seem to be bothering, so that's good, but he does, it's, uh... Sorry, but I have to scare him too much. get kind of nervous. But he flattens out. I wonder if he would do that if I put him on the ground, if he would take off or not. When we paused it, he tried to, like, look like he was playing dead. No, he's a slither. He's not going to play dead. <laughs> Very plain-looking snake, as far as looks. Um... I'm He's muddy chill. right now. I'm going to get him in the water. I'm going to dip him in the water real quick so we can see his color. See if that changes it much. They live in the water, by the water, so it's not going to bother many. Yeah, it darkens him a little bit. Doesn't have too much distinctive colors to him, but he does have a really cool pelly like that with that. And that line, line there's a black line. line. Let me see if on I can get sides. it. On the sides. On both sides, there's yeah. a black line all the way black down line on and the on side, his belly. On the belly and on that side as well. Pretty cool snakes right here. Uh, like I said, we've... We, I thought that's what it was on the tree, and whenever Kyler got a little closer, he was like, I think it's a crawfish, I think it's a crawfish snake. So we heard it, we caught it, we knew it was non-venomous, we don't catch them uh, by hand if we don't, and don't know for sure, we knew it was, uh, and then it was just a matter of figuring out what species it was, and that's what we tell people all the time. Once you can tell if it's non-venomous or venomous, you've won the, that's the battle right there, right? You know it's non-venomous. Um, so, we just kind of, uh, grab this guy, he is very nonchalant, he's very chill. Um, we'll end up letting him go right behind us in one of the trees, uh, closer to where we found him up the road a little bit. But uh, I just want to do a video with these guys because I've never caught one before. It's the first time for Louisiana Snake ID. Uh, LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube. We're out here catching uh, crawfish. They're skipping rocks right now. They're not doing very much work on the crawfish. They've <laughs> been working on the crawfish. Uh, peppers Long over there time. with them. And uh, <laughs> hey, we're trying to catch some crawfish, but right now they're skipping rocks. But anyway, we'll let this guy go in a little bit, get some good pictures, get some more video of him. But I wanted to do one for the page. Uh, man, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Louisiana Snake ID. Uh, make sure you give us a, a subscribe and click the notifications, the bell on uh, YouTube for LA Snake Boys with a Z. We have a lot of new videos coming out soon with the GoPro. We don't have it with us today because I don't want to 
lose it while we were carrying all this stuff. But uh, anyway, I had to share this guys with you, and we'll let him go unharmed. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Talk to you later.